Hi guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to a new video. We are officially in 2024. It does say Happy New Year at the top, but it don't fit in the camera frame. But yeah, this is me filming for the first time in 2024 because it's currently the 1st of January. I know this video is going to go out a bit later than the first week of January. It's going to be in the second week of January. But it's just the way that <laughs> I've ended up uploading my videos. I wanted to do it in like order. Um, with obviously what I got for Christmas, my boxing boxing day, it was actually a day after boxing day, shopping haul, and then my New Year's tag, which I do every single year. And I didn't want to miss it out just because I'm not posting it in the first week of January, but it's just the way it's fallen, unfortunately, and I still wanted to film it, so yeah. <laughs> so Happy New Year everybody, I hope 2024 is a good one and yeah, so as a tradition I wanted to do the New Year's tag, I've re-gone through the last New Year's tag that I did last year and wrote down the questions so it's going to be exactly the same as what, like I said last time and I'm going to answer them questions again this year and hopefully they're a little bit different than last year. So. I thought I would do it and this is what I'm about to do. <laughs> that sounded so weird. I didn't really know what to say then, it just came out. But yeah, so let's get into the video. So number one is, if you could look back on one memory last year that you wish you could relive, what would it be? This is a hard one, literally. So many things happened last year. I actually don't know. I've been to so many gigs. I've been on so many adventures. I actually don't know. Everything was just absolutely amazing. Mmm, this is a hard one. So hard. Like, my year was so good. Like, I'd, I'd happily relive it all. I literally can't just pick one. I loved the fact that we went to Alcudia because it was my sister's first time, like, first holiday abroad. I loved all the gigs that I went to. They were all absolutely amazing. I loved all the adventures that I went on. I just loved everything about last year. So I literally can't just pick out one thing, which I normally can pick out thing. And the fact that I can't pick out one thing says something about 2023. <laughs> Number two is, what is any of the New Year's resolutions that you accomplished last year that I set at the beginning of the year? Now, I had to go back through the video last year's like tag video to see what my new year's resolutions were because i completely forgot um and i did achieve the majority of them there's one that i kind of achieved but not properly achieved but yeah so the first one that i actually said was to save more and i actually have achieved that that like i've accomplished it and I'm actually really happy about that because I didn't think I'd be able to with me living by myself and things but I actually managed to so that's really really good the next one was more adventures and I went on so many more adventures last year absolutely crazy like oh, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to top it this year but yeah absolutely loved it have fun which of course I did considering I can't even pick out one thing that I, I loved last year because I loved it all I had so much fun Continue uploading videos. Now, I did upload videos, but I also slacked on uploading videos. But I think I uploaded more than I did the year before. Um, but yeah, that's probably something I'm going to keep as a New Year's resolution this year. Because I absolutely love doing videos. And I've done very good so far, considering it's the second week in January when you're watching this. I've done really good so far. So hopefully I can continue that. And... Keep, my last one was keep up with my skincare and hair care routine and I definitely accomplished that because if you look at my hair, last year's video for this, my hair was up here, it's actually grown so much so I've kept like done really good with my hair routine and I also have done skincare every single day. There's been the odd days that obviously if I've got home so late and I've just really really wanted to go straight to bed, I've just not done anything but then I made up for it in the morning or there's sometimes, there's been the odd days as well where I've woke up too late for work and I've just had to slap moisturiser on instead of like wash my face, which is disgusting, but it is what it is. It was either be late for work or, yeah. But the majority of the time I've literally done skincare every single day, like morning and night. So I'm really happy about that. Number three is three words to describe last year and it was adventurous, again, fun, 
and absolutely amazing. <laughs> That's the three words I can think of. I had a really good year last year, it was so good. Number four is some new music that you found last year and that is, it's got to be Tim Gallagher. So I never really knew about Tim Gallagher until Kovic supported them and obviously we went to the gigs and he is absolutely amazing. Tim Gallagher is so good and I actually can't believe that I ended up going and discovering his music. It, it honestly is just so good. If you don't know who he is, you need to check him out. And I actually got the pleasure of meeting him and making a good friend with him um, to the point where like he knew us because we know Kovic and Kovic introduced us to Tim. And yeah, basically that is really, really good. And you all need to check him out. He's on Instagram, Spotify, Facebook you name it is on it <laughs> but yeah you need to check them out it's absolutely amazing so that's some new music that i found this year well last year we're in 2024 now it's crazy last year <laughs> number five is something you're looking forward to this coming year i'm looking forward to everything i've already got a gig that's going to happen in 14 days would it have happened by the time you watch this no it would literally the day you're watching this i'd probably be at that gig literally um but yeah i've got a gig in 14 days i'm so excited about and i'm looking forward to all the gigs all the adventures literally everything also like what my job takes me into because i'm training up at the moment and i'm excited to see what happens when obviously i achieve the training up and i'm qualified and things like that and then what the next steps are i'm excited about that i'm just literally excited about so many things this year it's actually unreal number six is what did last year teach you and i think it taught me to just kind of live in the moment because there's so many moments that i absolutely loved last year and just live in it love it enjoy that moment because you might never have it again and yeah I think that's yeah i'm gonna say that for what it's taught me last year is live in the moment and yeah <laughs> i can't really explain it number seven is what is the most worn clothing item that you wore last year and obviously my work uniform because i'm there five days a week but i've also got to say my leggings my like fluffy leggings and my snooty from primark i've got three snooties now i only had one last year not the year before. Oh my god, I keep forgetting I'm in 2024. But yeah, my snooties, my work uniform, my leggings, my fluffy leggings, my, all my comfies basically, apart from obviously my uniform because that's not comfies, that's just work uniform. But that's the, the most thing that I've worn is my work uniform. But apart from work uniform, they're the other things that I've worn. I just love being comfortable. <laughs> right, I need to do this because it's my third time saying this. Number eight, if you had to sum up your year in one word, what would it be? Fun. <laughs> I'm trying to think of one word. I'm going to say fun because it was so fun last year. Like, I absolutely loved it. Number nine is what are you hoping for more of this year? And I'm hoping for more gigs. I don't think that's going to be possible because we basically, we pretty much did. Apart from one month, we pretty much did one gig a month at least. But more gigs would be amazing and more adventures would be amazing. I think that's going to be everything, like always what it's going to be every single year because it's just what I love and I'd love for more of that. Number 10, I don't, I said this last year, why have I put this in again? Because I'm literally repeating the tag, but it just says what is the best book you've read in 2023. I don't read so I've not read anything I might have to change it to like the best series or something but I'm going to stick with this question and I don't read so I've not read anything so I can't really answer that question and then the last one is what is your new year's resolutions for this upcoming year and I've got to say more adventures continue saving um, continue uploading videos and have fun that is literally my four can like have fun again because I did that last time but yeah so a nice little short video for you guys and yeah thank you so much for watching I hope 2024 is a good one and yeah happy new year and yeah thank you so much for all your support over the last year 
and thank you so much for continuing watching my videos. I really, 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 really appreciate it. And hopefully I will be uploading a lot more this year. And I'm literally so excited for 2024. It's going to be a good one, I can just tell. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you next time with another video. Happy New Year!